hey you guys welcome back to the channel i'm Samali, but you can just call me ali and today we are back with the family dynamics challenge and uh we have darren and cody over here working out together blaring music um this is something that they do quite often not gonna lie to you they love working out together and, and i don't know it's just, just a bit of a father son bonding moment it's it's bedtime <laughs> and Charlie is definitely going to turn this off. She's like, I'm ready to go to bed and we're not going to have that blaring music here. It is a Saturday at 11 o'clock at night and um, we have some pretty important events coming up soon. Um, within the next couple of days, Darren is going to be aging up into an elder, which is so crazy. And then on next Saturday, um, Becca, Charlie, and Cameron are aging up. Becca is going to be aging up into an elder. And then Charlie and Cameron are going to be aging up into young adults. So that is super interesting. All the cook kids are growing up. And speaking of the cook kids, I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update on what all is happening um since the last video so as you know corey has been in university studying psychology and actually her friend slash academic rival in high school slash childhood friend jackson reed were dating secretively and they are now engaged which is really really exciting and um Corey should be graduating next semester so we'll see where life takes her with that next we have cody cody graduated high school and he is now gearing up to take over the family business and he recently started dating violet Corey's friend from high school and um back in those high school days violet definitely did not give him the time of day and it's safe to say that they are definitely falling for each other and next we have cameron out of all the cook kids cameron is the one who is determined to become famous famous for what i'm not really sure but she loves being the center of attention and she is currently a part of drama school drama club at um school and obviously she's gorgeous she's self-assured and confident and she has a very great fashion sense so all of this should take her very far and i'm sure you guys see over here charlie uh she's just chilling at home um she's still a teenager and i honestly don't see her moving well the challenge rules state that she's not going to be moving um leaving the house until her parents pass away so um we have quite some time down here so now that i'm done updating you guys about everyone we are going to go ahead and skip to darren's birthday all right y'all so it is finally darren's birthday charlie has yet again taken off from school she took a vacation day so our plans for today include getting a tattoo which is super super fun um so yeah we're skipping school to go get a tattoo um i know this place in willow creek if we can head there right now we're gonna go alone um because everyone else is at school and i know this place in willow creek it's pretty low-key and um yeah let's head there so this venue is actually by um Blumbella. it is a part of her save file um but i made some alterations to it which i will show you in a second but it is basically like a nightclub lounge sort of thing going on it's really cute and very modern and then here in the back as you can see there is like a little um gaming area and then we have a really cool tattoo parlor over here which is super cool i kind of added this because it is a tattoo shop um rabbit hole um if we click this sign 
this little thing pops up that says tattoo shop and then we can get um magnetic piercings temporary tattoos a permanent tattoo or a permanent piercing i actually really like how um so um i decided to add this back here because i don't know maybe your sims will get a little tipsy and make bad tattoo decisions <laughs> so um yeah let's go ahead and and i really like that it is a part of this build and this venue in general i like that it is kind of like a part of the club's venue but not like attached to the club it's sort of like separately maybe this is like a cool alleyway in between and maybe the tattoo shop owns this gaming spot over here i don't know but um i think it's cool i think it all really fits well together so we're gonna have charlie go ahead and get a permanent tattoo and this was her choice she decided to get a hand tattoo it's really beautiful it kind of reminds me of um like a mandala or something like that you know the ones that you can color and she actually has a little mood lip buff over here confident looking good from getting a tattoo i think it's safe to say she really likes it and she's uncomfortable from getting inked um getting a tattoo is pretty painful hopefully it heals quickly i hope it heals quickly too because we have our dad's birthday today that we have to go to um becca planned it it is going to be in san Myshuno, which is really fun and while we're here we might as well play a game um so i'm gonna have her enter a gaming tournament and we'll do blick block and you guys we actually met someone super interesting in the tattoo shop um we met a guy <laughs> and this guy happens to be right here adrian dominguez charlie actually happens to think that he is extremely attractive and that he is cool um charlie thinks the sim is pretty cool they have this popular insider vibe and adrian actually thinks that charlie is distant um this may only be a first impression but this sim seems distant and inapproachable which really is just a first impression as you know charlie is a loner so she might kind of, she might come off kind of like maybe a little weird <laughs> and antisocial but um she really is such a good girl on the inside and so i think they just kind of like talked a little bit on that in the tattoo shop um adrian actually works at the tattoo shop here on this venue and so um they were just chit-chatting a little bit which charlie actually does not like chit-chatting at all she doesn't like talking to anybody period so i can see why he probably thinks that she is distant but she definitely really really has a crush on him not to mention this venue has um fountains that um, are pretty much swimming pools so you can get in you can get in any of these which is why he has on his swim trunks all right so now i think it's a really good time to head back home and help mom a bit with the decorations for darren's birthday all right so first things first we need to find the cake that becca made here is the cake gonna put it in our inventory hopefully it stays fresh um yeah it should be fresh for a while and becca is on her way home from work and she's getting the party decorations as well so we are going to meet her at the venue and i'm really excited so let's go all right so what are you doing standing there come on let's get this party going i'm actually so glad first of all that it's so beautiful here um in the city we're on like a rooftop bar situation hopefully we can get into those bubble blowers in a second but i'm really happy that um it's not raining here because it's raining in newcrest so i'm so glad we got to escape all of that and the sun is setting this is a beautiful um 
time of day to have a party like this on a rooftop bar so we did get to set up a little bit um and we're gonna go ahead and get this party started so let's see let's go ahead and order drinks for everyone let's see order drinks let's do something a little cheap let's do a sweet and spicy cameron has decided to take her hand at karaoke cody is gonna come over here and grab a couple of drinks and as you can see back there oop, charlie is actually strumming on the guitar so um that's actually like a hobby that she's had and you know it's cool to see her kind of in her own element at the party here looks like we're enjoying ourselves what is darren doing he is talking to everyone let's have him come over here and have fun with the bubble blower let's sit and try actually i kind of want him to be in a group Darren is over here enjoying himself with the bubble blower. Oh my gosh, look at all those bubbles. <laughs> I don't know if he's having a good time or not. Maybe it's because he's all choked up. Let's see what type of games we can play. Um, let's see. Let's try our hand at um, cup pong, juice pong, whatever. Let's play with teammates. We're gonna play with Becca and we're gonna play against Corey and Cody since they are of age. All right, let's see. Oh my gosh. This is how you know Darren is not a drinker because he does not know how to play Deuce Pong. Seems like Corey has learned something <laughs> in college. Let's see how Becca does. Oh man. All right, Codester. I never thought I would see Darren playing juice pong with his kids. They were both so close. Corey is actually really good at juice pong. Ooh, yeah, Corey's definitely had some practice with this. So where is Charlie with the cake? Um, hopefully it's not spoiled. Here we go. It's still good. All right, we have that, and oh my gosh, Rebecca has to down a drink, but as soon as they finish with this, we're gonna have Darren blow out the birthday candles. They won! Pretty much all because of Corey's help, but Corey and Cody won, and Darren and Becca lost. The final score was four to zero. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this cake despite him looking sad i'm pretty sure he's extremely happy because this was a surprise party for him um they actually had to talk him out of baking his own birthday cake because as you know darren is such a good cook and baker and so yeah they had to talk him out of baking his cake oh, i wanted to get this shot all right, dear, go ahead. Oh. Where are you going, bud? <gasps> Party like the Reaper's not around the corner. Because he most definitely is, and he waits for no one. Y'all. Look how old he looks. What age do you think the Sims are when they turn into elders? You know, like, are they 60, 65? even later than that earlier than that definitely let me know in the comments down below but i think this was a pretty cool party you know i don't know <laughs> it was chill it was just family and um i think darren actually really appreciates that he's such a host and because he didn't have to um host technically and plan this party um it definitely gives him a bit of a break and he's able to just enjoy for once and not have to plan everything meanwhile cody and charlie are over here playing juice pong oh my god you are your dad's son for real <laughs> looks like darren is happy off the juice i can't tell you the last time darren has had 
a drink like a drink drink you know it's crazy late it has to be at least 1 a.m and it's in the middle of the week <laughs> everyone needs to go home but um i'm really glad to see old darren literally old darren out here just having a good time and socializing with everyone i love that for him <laughs> i think we're gonna go ahead and head home I'm pretty sure, yeah, Cameron is so ready to go and everyone looks like they are extremely tired. So we will see you guys when we get home. You're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you. I hope you feel that way about me too. That lines up perfectly with what Becca had to tell Darren, and that is, I'm, I mean, I'm sure you guys saw it. They are going on a honeymoon. I don't know. I know. I know. <laughs> it has been a really long time since they have first gotten married, and you guys remember they have not been on a honeymoon because they got busy with, you know having children and building their home or renovating their home I should say and um with their careers and stuff like that so they just never had the time and so that is what Becca had to tell Darren they are going on a honeymoon and um they are celebrating their life together and everything that they have created so i'm really really excited for them they'll probably be gone for a couple of days so like as soon as becca told him that darren was super excited and he was like i need well he's playing games but for storytelling purposes i think he would say i need to go downstairs and just research this place check out the views check out you know all the activities we can do kayaking and riding on boats and maybe we can find a mermaid you know i feel like he was just researching that on the computer downstairs in the basement but yeah i darren and becca definitely have a lot of packing to do and i am super excited to get sort of glimpses into their honeymoon vacation trip and um i really hope you guys liked this video let me know down below if you guys think um, Charlie met her soulmate today. I know that's pretty big of a jump to say that, but Charlie felt the vibes and they had a chemistry. You can't lie. They had a chemistry. They were playing games together and they didn't even know each other. So uh, I don't know anyone else that would play games with a stranger. I'm gonna leave you guys on this note. Um, Corey passed out from playing too many games of Juice Pong from Darren's party. And um, yeah, I will see you all next time. Bye guys.